I hope not. <laughs> I'm not streaming, so that's the deepest question. Yeah, that's why I pause in hesitation. But anyway, we're live on my end. Alright. Alright. Let me get the music. Hit play. No, I got it, I got it. Oh, did my music do it? Oh, Jesus, it must be in work. Alright. <coughs> Let's see where we pick up shit on the road. Last time. <laughs> oh, fuck. Sorry. Well, we just left. Oh. We lost Rowan. Oh, okay, okay. Anyway. Diana got sucked into the strange corruption and... <laughs> Once again. Yeah. She'll return as the anchor. Probably. Last time the party got a little fun with one of the party members licking the ground where the other one was dealing with an individual that's kind of been stalking them around. I can't After wait to going to the boy and talking to a being known as Nemesis, Alicia popped back up as the rest of the party from the prison join the other members. After doing that, they decide to head down to the black market and finally get Alicia's little book. Which after doing so, Justice was able to make a deal with the Canard to give the book over and made a deal with Winston to move things along with her father. And with the book in hand and finally making their way out, Lisi had noticed something that the book was a deep speech and handwriting looked like hers. So go ahead and pick right back up right in the auction house. I'm trying to remember. Oh, yeah, Diana was here. So, uh, let me get the list of the cut. There we go. So, as I said last time, all of you are just heading out of the auction house. Alicia is kind of stopped in shock for a minute of the noticing of the handwriting looking like hers. And I guess the rest of you are kind of just free. Just as you remember some other things that Winston had... Oh, hold on, let me shift the screen. Sorry. Oh, that's Scruffy. I was wondering what the fuck that was for a minute. Just to look at it. Fuck it. But you remember Winston telling you that the keystone as well. Ah, oh boy. Was prob was making their way here, which is very rare because they never do. Yeah. Oh boy. All right. So, what's everyone doing? Things. Just looking at the situation. Go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. First to Delhi, then to Diana, then to Alicia with the book, Defying to Justice. Justice, what do we... Are we going to meet that... Thing, one... on friendly terms, or should we expect battle with it? Both, honestly. So we are to speak and then fight. Hopefully it's not the fighting part, but, uh... If anything I've learned about them, so they're probably a little tricksy. Like how Pi speaks with others. Yeah. <laughs> but we should probably head to my house either way. If I am to understand how you are all handling this, 
Actually, on table, does Fangs know how you, uh, that you sold your property or house? I don't think he meant, she mentioned it. She just. It was out loud that Rathel basically gained 15 grand worth of the house. Oh, yeah, 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 because she was okay. basically putting it as a, like a payment. But yeah, you would. I. Yeah. He would understand his territory exchange. He understood that. That's why Fangs will now add this question. If I am to understand this whole territory exchange, would it not be her territory now? As he gestures his thumb back to the direction of the auction house. In part, yes, but in reality, the house is worth far more than that, so I didn't trade some whole house. I am most confused of this exchanging of structured places. Okay, okay, okay. You know how the, everyone owns the village? Yes, it is within our territory that we claimed. Okay. I am the people, and I own the house, which is my territory. I sold Rathal a bedroom and a shared bathroom. Fucking Airbnb beater. <laughs> <laughs> the player understands. Oh, let's, let's admit, let's admit, this is at least a million dollar or a million dollar trip. Oh yeah, what, like it is you. Your father probably have bought one of the most extravagant homes in Lewood. Like I'm not gonna like deny you that, but like <laughs> he essentially just the Airbnb beater. <laughs> Oh my god. It was one of the guest rooms. <laughs> Fangs kind of just <laughs> nodded a little bit and is like, I see the concept of it, yet I don't quite understand its mechanics and the, well, looking at it from my own tribes, if we were to sell or give part of territory, usually the others would want to claim it entirely. That's understandable, but it's more like think of it as I sold off one little house but it's to somebody who like you owned a, a, a house, right? Like it was your place, your mother's place, right? I owned a small tent yeah, so basically, I sold off a tent. Mm, I wonder what happens so it's now Rathal's tent, and I still have the rest of it. So, to gain her money back, Rathal will definitely have to go with the sale of it, which is inevitable, but uh, that's why I wrote out the notes. So, when I sell the house, then Rathal will get paid. And before she's just going to claim the whole thing and just take the deed anyway. Oh, that shit ain't happening. <laughs> <laughs> Just claim proof of ownership, technically, from that. We're talking about a law doc or a person with a law degree. She wrote up a thing where it's like, nope, you basically get to own stock in the house, and it's not controlling. <laughs> not gonna be happy with that, but whatever. She gets her money. Very true. Don't I kind see. of fucked her over, though. So now the she issue... Got, she got... She got you know, multi doubles what she was expecting. Let's be honest about that, <laughs> bro. I suppose the issue now relies on the book that Miss Alicia has. Yeah, that's really her her uh, nose is kind of buried in the book right now. Um. Yeah, Fangs is kind of just glossing it over just a little, but then returns to the question of, I am curious as to why the other one was interested in the book. I guess is it's a tome of arcane secrets and powers inside of our understanding, right? It's not like uh, just a recipe for tofu. <laughs> Hello. He's just mm -hmm. kind of like enamored by the book, almost like it's kind of like, in one sense, sucking her in, but not literally. I was more questioning your 
while the question was directed to your gestures of the bracelet. Talking to me? And Pi just kind of like leaves. You hear a voice kind of come out of it? Hold on, I'm gonna count you. I always forget because I constantly move her token. No, it's the astral you see and hear me. Okay. Now what's about what now? I am curious as to why one of your own would be interested in a strange book about machine thing or clockwork parts. Well, I was going to ask if any of you would all know what Primus is, but considering most of, uh, if anyone wants, you can roll me a religion. Fang's Fang's going to say I recall the strange woman that I smashed into said clock said something about being something of Primus. I'll say like just a very cursory because like again since religion isn't a huge thing unless you're going to Borwin a lot and like it's not like a huge religious night. There's probably like some people that you would know very basic that he was the at least in some like cults and other I'll say judicial systems was kind of framed as this symbol of justice and more so order uh, oh yeah in order I was trying to think of something else too but kind of slipped my mind but yeah that's how justice would know it because there are like some teachings of primus that were converted into law because it would make more sense on how to apply it and it's kind of used on a on a case-by-case case basis of how people would interpret it, but it would be in there at least through some of her studies that she would have seen the name pop up every now and then. I mean, a pseudo god of justice and order. Not really big on things. A lot of cults. So would not, if this god is a god of justice, would he not be strangely accurate or similar to your name? Potentially. They're probably closer to, uh... Well, I mean, I figure it's this time, if he was a god, he's dead, like everybody else, so... We're on the scale of, like, the Raven Queen. Justicia is the statue that was out in front of the courthouse. That's a blind woman. That's a woman. That's the thing on her eyes. Yeah. Just depends on interpretation. Plus, if supposedly... It's a manuscript of a god that correlates with all of the other justice and order of certain things. It could be useful to us, especially with some unknown powers. Give or take. Think of it this way. If you had a role that told you what to do, when to do, in order to ensure things or to fuck things up, and you're a being of chaos, would that not appeal to you? Flo turned to Alicia. <laughs> Fangs kind of just... I have no words. <laughs> crinkled the nose, the snap, the snoot, and just kind of goes, I... will like the idea of balance, but considering things are not as what they seem, I would take the word of most, if not all, things that would call themselves a god or close to it with, I believe the expression is, grains of salt. Either way, I see you had fun talking to my, I'll say, superior. She kind of like almost seems like he's spitting acid at like that last bit that is rolling off of her tongue. I mean, that is a question. Were you like equal in power before this bullshit or? When you. Oh God, you don't summon. I'm assuming you never took demon up. Demonology. Jesus Christ, that word hurts my brain to say. At all. There is a hierarchy. 
I mean, there was a mild coincidence that I did take back when I first Wait, started. Wait, do, but... do you actually have any study in demonology? If it was offered at the college for law, then yes. <laughs> you know what? How can you just roll me a D100? Because I'm just curious. <laughs> we'll walk around and find out. Uh, there's probably like, maybe like one or two small courses because demon and devil law kind of came into like effect. So you would at least have to know very basic loopholes just to get out of it. It was very small though. It was like uh, one semester. Yeah, it was a winner. It was a winter semester. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like this is how you fuck over a devil in three easy steps. <laughs> anyway, but uh, to put it bluntly, she was, as I said, my superior. Her power and everything else. Basically. Uh, not so much so, but comparable, like, to an arch devil and a fiend underneath that. So we are to engage in battle with her due to... I suppose the saying is, negotiations falling apart. What are we to expect from her? Or rather, not do? Uh, let's see. Hitting her with almost any martial weapon or anything of that like will get you pretty much nowhere a lot of uh, likes to toy with people a lot and not use your full power unless she wants to just flaunt it uh, what else if you have magic it can work but it have to be from a being of pure good or at least someone of a good individual thanks get the fuck off me thanks stop Close, Al. Thanks. God damn it. <laughs> I am over here, Deli. Yeah, yeah. Duh. You know whose shoulder your fucking claws are in? Mine. Duh. And you just need Scruffy on your back? I think... You are hallucinating since I am standing across from Justice and... Scruffy? Who's sitting Duh. on whose whose shoulder? Who is Scruffy sitting on? Duh. Who's familiar is Scruffy? Oh. Oh, uh, okay. My brain just stopped for a bit of that. So technically, she's speaking through Scruffy. Dot. Really? Anyway. Fangs has the most absolute confused look on his face. But then. Fangs claws hurt on non prey. But I don't see Scruffy down, having he's... claws. Aww. You're grabbing Scruffy on the shoulder real hard. And it's really <laughs> hard to use magic with just one hand. Um. Wait, Fangs isn't touching Scruffy though. I'm very confused. Yeah, me I too. too. I tried to add something when I, I came back to, and what? it failed miserably. <laughs> nah, you're fine. Right? Nobody sorry. knows yes and apparently. <laughs> My apologies, buddy. <laughs> I, I was trying to yes and it, and then I was yeah, like, "Yeah, you did. Yeah, the, the GM did a great job at yes ending. Everybody else <laughs> failed miserably." <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so outside of the redneck being a little drunk, uh, uh scruffy's or fucking scruffy pie. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> oh. Fangs just adds. What, uh, so, this weapon, then? Would this go through her defenses as he shows the bone dagger? So, I'm gonna let you know, even magical weapons our kind tend to be very resistant to. Tend to be, uh, tend to be the opposite of those cat-like beings. Kind of grew up a little bit differently. But if you have a being of pure good use magic, then you might get around it. I am confused you are referring to my kind we don't have any of those special powers that you are referring to i think uh, i understand what you're so saying above table yes i know I, I, I know no no, no no i'm asking yeah. above table is anyone in this party good like alignment well justice is sitting there for the moment so in other words we need to get mala to learn magic right i mean no 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 just as long as you feel like you're doing good for a cause, you're 
fine, not like a paladin or some bullshit. Paladin would be actually extremely helpful, but no. No, we'll go back again to a buff table. Who's actually alignment good? The only one that's... I would say I think, Is Delhi neutral? Fangs is lawful neutral, at least the last time I wrote him as it, but I leave it up to the DM's discretion if he's really... I don't know at this point. Um, Diana lawful would probably... Neutral. <laughs> Diana would probably be chaotic neutral. It's chaotic neutral, yeah, for sure. Except it's Deli. Oh. God. He's not a good person. I'm lawful neutral, then. <sighs> uh, look, I don't think Alicia ever gave uh, one. Deli, if I remember right, is... Chaotic evil. <laughs> no, not chaotic evil. Neutral evil. Who is? Deli. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> I would. Stop taxes. <laughs> <laughs> he's, not, he's, a, he's chaotic neutral from at least what's written down. Uh, I'll leave that up to you. I, on table, I lean on the idea that Fangs might be chaotic good at best, but lawful uh, neutral because he does seem to follow more toward the Raven Queen's doctrines. I, I, I'll leave that up to you, but just above table know that they are weak spellcasters that use good. Yeah, I, I don't know. I would, like I said, I leave, I'll leave it up to your discretion on where Fangs' uh, alignment really is. Uh, Alright, before the, at the beginning <laughs> of the campaign. Delia yeah. alignment was chaotic neutral. Okay. Uh, I'll leave it. Neutral, so. I'll leave but it up to you. Might be chaotic I'll leave it up to you where you want to go on the. I would not track. consider Delia to ever be actually evil, but chaos is definitely in his purview. So I think CN is good for him currently. Okay. Uh, Fang. I want to lean toward chaotic good because. You do a lot of good, but you also Fangs cause chaos. Fangs is one hundred percent lawful somehow. True, yeah. he does follow his own doctrine. I don't he think has his good. Exact, I think lawful neutral for Fangs. Okay. Yeah. Um, Diana, I fuck if I know. <laughs> I would say definitely chaotic. Why is this party mostly chaotic now that I noticed that? Hmm. I think Diana would be hurt you. GM. Yeah, Diana, Diana, Di mm -hmm. Diana. If I could enunciate the A, would probably be, I think, also chaotic, either neutral, because she doesn't really lean towards good in my eyes. Mm, no. Like, good intentions, but not for good reasons. Does that make that, sense at all? Yeah, that's chaotic neutral, then. Yeah. yeah. Um, let me look at Malas. And I don't think Alicia's picked. I'm going to assume that Alicia's oh, also right. picked. Oh, right, Malas is joining us tonight. Mala is chaotic neutral. Is what the fuck? Is everyone in this party either lawful or chaotic? What the hell is Mala to chaotic neutral? No, uh, Mala is like at I'd least say lawful neutral good. Yeah, and Alicia, they don't have one, so I'll ask Sam real quick. I think they were supposed to be lawful neutral and then met the rest of our party and realized how good they were. <laughs> Yeah. That makes sense. I, I, Mal is like the straight man and definitely probably be neutral good. <laughs> He's like the only one that's not an asshole. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is if justice has slowly moved from lawful neutral to chaotic good. I would say probably because she's going out of her way to help people and not just murder. And like a lot of, though Insights Chaos has done a lot of good. I, I feel like that most of the party is either neutral or good, but not pure evil. Yeah, I don't see anybody in the party being evil except for Diana. <laughs> That's only on Sunday. I think Diana is more neutral than Deli. True, because Deli was willing to shoot her just because he was getting annoyed by the bullshit and just left yeah, the room. Yeah, Deli's, Deli's willing to cap any of you. Damn. Leave the right push. I think... I don't know, though, too, because, like, the conversation on the train makes me kind of like way way back when makes me think it kind of floats between chaotic neutral and good but still he's more towards the neutral. floating between the uh, chaotic neutral and chaotic good like that's that's like the, the portion he's floating between 
and the amount of times the party keeps fucking up, and he's like, hmm, <laughs> millimeter, spin, spin, oh, look at that empty chamber. They're lucky. So they, so Deli was the one in the chamber the entire time. No, we did it. That's the campaign. <laughs> Everyone can go home. Anyway. All right, well, considering as she kind of like does this cursory glance over all of you, none of you seem the good type. Might be a bit of a problem. Won't be as effective, but you can still use magic on her. Oh, no. Houston. The other Kanara, just in case you end up in a fight. I fear that How we might. does she deal with the, uh, let's call it unconventional magic? She'd be intrigued by it, though I'd watch because those with unconventional usually tend to lose their hands very quickly. I have a feeling that we would be missing a city block if we had to fight her. <laughs> that, uh, uh, he'll look at you specifically. Jay, that's the minimum. <laughs> That's assuming she actually uses her full power and doesn't just That's play with me you. using a level two spin. <laughs> <laughs> Besides, we have more important people to fight it off instead of her. We just need her out of the way. Well, if you do fight your father, at least make sure there's no one within, like, a city radius. Who's you talking right now? Uh, Pi. So, sorry. Got it. Understood. He's basically telling you about the canary that Justice is going to was told to beat at our house. It's... Oh, Brad, Jay, how? Oh, wait, you don't own that house no more. It's just the other, right? Justice literally face palms after having explained this to Justice Banks. <laughs> <laughs> Jay, uh, Jay, let me say, I was, uh, I was drinking during the Okay, Delhi. Yes. Quick Azza, Azza, then when you lived in the Maya, how, right. how, how cheap was your house? Not. Yeah, I sold her a, a room with an attached bathroom. I was, okay? I was there for that portion. I was just wondering for the portion after that quote-unquote last session. Because someone pilled, spilled coffee on my pants and had to change. <laughs> some good belly pops to fall Maybe. Shit. Dig. Hmm. Anyway, let's go buy some Don't guns. Don't find Mal. <laughs> that was right outside. Let's just go buy some guns and get out of here. Guns? It's the black market belly. We can buy a kidney if you want to. Can we buy you know, Remy's products? Because this revolver fucking sucks. Certainly tried. Uh, Who is on. Remy? My brother. French Langton. Uh. Remy's a red. Yeah. You have to find Lucas. Oh, <laughs> that's my older brother. He sucks. <laughs> you, my safety is How many tight. brothers do you have? Four. Oh. You do realize that dwarves live to like three to four hundred, right? And we fuck all the time. TMI, <laughs> Deli. TMI. I'll tell you, am I? 
Tell you already have a date. Who? Raffle. I look back to the auction house. <laughs> what? Well, I get hell yes. <laughs> I'll deal with that later. Jimmy, where are you? Oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> he, looks, he looks at the raccoon next to him. Did you take notes? Oh. He didn't. He didn't take notes. Shit, Duh. somebody tell me what happened. No, you, no, you, no, you see him pull out, like, a single piece of paper, and it just says, Daw, on it. Like, from his hat. <laughs> oh, right, he's the one who says, Daw. Fuck, yeah. yeah. He's the idiot. <laughs> Remember, it's intelligent. Cool I... fire. Than it, I know, but his intelligence score, if I remember correctly, is like a three. Uh, with a... <laughs> I think a raccoon would be higher than a three, but we'll talk about that later. He's more wise and I, I went off a, I went off... Bastards. I went raccoons off the... have broken into my garage before. <laughs> I think it's more I of a... Off... I think it's more of wisdom, street smart, than book <laughs> smart. That's probably oh. true. Let me look, because I did stab him a little bit, but I used the weasel as his, um... Oh, no. Raccoons are smarter than weasels. Raccoons have thumbs. Oh, wait, no. His intelligence is a two, not a three. Raccoons know that certain places will hand out food. I'll give him a ten, so he's probably got, like, like average yeah, no, To be honest, I would I would expect a raccoon to be smarter than, gener than the general three-year-old. Okay, then yeah, I'll, give, I'll just give him a ten for flat, because he's probably about as smart as a commoner. Yeah. Well, actually, commoners have like an eight, so ten back is, a little bit. Ten is, ten is a common line. For real. Anyway, so as you're kind of just exiting the auction house, you said you want to buy some guns? Mm -hmm. I can buy some guns. Alright, just pick. We just want to look at the woman who let us in. Guns. Which stall? <laughs> firearms. Well, that one does have literal firearms if you want that. No, 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 not him. Uh, he will, uh, he'll flip out his Meyer special. <laughs> this. Uh, well, way better. Woman I down would, there. Uh, oh, sorry. I would highly suspect a cloud catcher tag, and he will, uh, use, um, minor illusion to flip out the, uh, cloud catcher, uh, symbol. We should be on every Remy or, God forbid, um, God, what was that? They're in your family tab, so. I know, I know, I know what they are, but off the top of my head, I was trying to figure shit out. Uh, which one? I, Irvington I or Winchester? <laughs> Winchester was the locksmith, so if he made a gun, God help. No way, no way, Winchester was not a firearm specialist. Well, he probably would have specialized, but, like, family. he probably fucked it up. That's yeah, not that's my family. That's, that's Mel's family. Uh, that's family. Yeah, Remington. Yeah, Remington made the gun. Sally Z. Wesson. Oh, Smith and Wesson. Why did I get them? Oh, Winchester. Yeah, I was going to say, uh, Remy, even though I didn't have it, was, like, an animal. Uh, uh, most of the guards in the light. Ah, work a bit because no, so Remington would be like more small arms mm -hmm. Weston would be large yeah I'm talking about tanks large arms okay and Winchester would be like shoulder okay yep uh Weston also you do remember what's the basically head of your family one year yes or, Weston okay. is currently the the head of the family because my dad is now dead apparently you hate to see it but um, then their outside job, Winchester, your mate, locksmithing, and they're like proficient of that. He's that. Weston runs the family, and Remington had like an affinity for like the weirder animals and shit that, like exotic pets. So if anything, <laughs> if anything, it would make sense why Remy would have his stuff here purely because he probably would come to the black market often for. Remington would be the first person to create a fifty cal. <laughs> he made it Just yourself. Not, not right now. <laughs> Not right now, <laughs> but yeah, I know. The Remington 250 Kelp was the first physically created 50. It would make sense too that he would use it to hunt exotic game. Oh, he would not <laughs> use it to hunt people. It would definitely be a hunting are talking, rifle. Are we talking yeah. cartridge round or yeah. are we talking yes. hard? Uh, no, the, I was the say, there was a lot of 50s before that. 
That did not work. Like there was the other one, the freaking. It would be the single powder. shot fifties. Yes. There was a there sixty was a, cal black powder. There were there was a uh, an enormous amount of uh, single shot fifty cal's that existed before there were repeating action fifty that uh, Winchester Remington created. But if we're talking about D D terms, and we all every single D and D character wants a repeating action, <laughs> it would be Remington. I guess I'll canonize that somewhere. <laughs> anyway, um, it D20. would be a D twenty for damage. No, I know. I can nerf it, but still make it win. Anyway, it's gross. Why is that No, not 3d6. That nurse is too much. Probably like 3d10. Mm. Or 3d12 if I want to be spicy. Mm. We'll see what it, if it, it when and if it gets made. Anyway. Uh, he will, uh, Jelly will put a hand on, um... Not Paluta. On, uh, Jay's shoulder. Jay... I can lie. Two thirds of that auction were fa were, were uh, created by family members of mine. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I'm glad none of y'all bet on anything other than the book that uh, the person that that's here. Rattle. No. Oh, no. Lucia. Yeah, Ellie. The Ellie bought. But what? Not, not Ellie bought, but we bought for Ellie. Technically, I bought this, but yeah. Yeah, you bought it, but, uh. You, you use property. I had physical gold. Or physical electrum for. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I knew how far to go before I had to start doing property. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, to be honest, you only went about the 200 over Electrum that I had on me. God, Deli's fucking loaded still. Deli is fucking rich. <laughs> but it makes sense, though. He is rich. Yeah, thank you, Fangs. <laughs> um, yes, I am rich. Anyway, if you the want the weapon... That's the problem with living in a shack that sank twice a year, and, uh, just, you know... <laughs> of course he does. Living in a house that did not sink. All right, um... Right. While you people are having a fun conversation... Who you is you people? Who's talking? This individual. Who the if fuck you is you? The arms dealer? No, she's not. Uh, oh. She was trying to point you in the direction of it. Ah. If you want to go buy any Remy weapons, she points down the road. Where? The woman in the business suit. Be able to help you. And you see, kind of <laughs> looking down the way. <laughs> you all see. Even, even Justice hears the. Of the deli face palm. Fuck Remy and his hot elf. Hot, at least half elf. Which one's the one in the business suit? Uh, this one. You She's probably got red hair, a tie. Like and she is like pressed them. back. When you get closer, you notice it's a long kind of tube that would probably be like a casing for probably guns and she looks at all of you and like as y'all are approaching can i help you 30 percent citrum nitrate uh and uh, oh he changed his formula uh i'm gonna guess four fifty two percent citrum rotate Bub table, what the fuck are you asking for, Chief? 
the composition of her gunpowder. Deli is just throwing out, uh, obviously, a, actually, incredibly wrong, incredibly wrong. Okay. Um, this, is, this is where uh, the person that uh, is like gun. Yeah, what yeah. So she, she should know that Deli is just saying nonsense words. So if you want to keep talking jargon, I can take my business elsewhere. Oh, fantastic. Let me just say two words. Remnant Cloud Catcher and 14% Cisium Nitrate, which is the exact composition of actual gunpowder. All right. And as you say that, you watch her pull out what looks like, from her back, what looks like a long kind of Rolodex, almost um, carrying case. Kind of like, um, you know how those like long tubes for paper that you would usually store them in? Are you looking for 50 cal or 44 cal? Well, we have a... Let me show you the stock. And she kind of pulls the top off the top. It kind well, of like... I looks... tell Remy about 44. He created 50. Just saying. As she kind of pulls off the top of this, like, smaller, um... I'll say paper carrying case, or, like, this case on her back. You watch as it kind of rolls out, like, a shitload. Like, a almost what looks like a small arsenal. Uh, different kind of revolvers from the cloud catchers, some some longer rifles. He figured out the forty-four. He did. Oh my god! Billy has issues where he finally, where his brother Win, who is actually the first person to figure out the forty-four caliber. <laughs> I don't understand. But yeah, so you see a bunch of different magnums, probably like a, um, I'm trying to think of a good rifle that would be comparable. Uh, what are you thinking about? Um, so kind of like a short stock rifle, nothing too long, nothing like a 50 caliber. 4570. Yeah, yeah, I was, th I, was, I was thinking of 30 out of 30. Okay, so you see Ugh. just like, I, I mean, that's the first thing I killed my first thing with I, I was thinking 30, just like 30. general i was just thinking general like hunter, hunting rifles as well so yeah 30 out of 30 is like the most like currently general's like you got something dead 30 30 yeah, 30 out 6 308 and 270 are usually the common amounts but okay all right but i'm old fuck off 4570 is the older one for shooting buffalo I'm not oh, killing God. buffalo, I'm <laughs> killing the white tail. I was gonna say, Christ. I'm, that, that I'm not run. giving you, I'm not giving you a fucking blunderbuss that just shoots cannonballs. Would no. you like a hole in something, or would you like a hole out of something? Trust me, a 4570 was a black oh. powder rifle used prior to okay. that, so it's, it's just a very heavy slug traveling very slowly over long distances. Either way, my family would create 30-30. Okay, yeah. Uh, hold on, let me miss some people. Um, she probably went back to the bracelet. Grab like 30 millimeters um, per second. Alright. So, any weapons you your fancy? Deli will, uh, flip, uh, his Meyer special through his fingers. It ain't better than this. I would highly suggest, uh, a Remington or a uh, Winchester. Um, and he will like flip it up, catch it in the air, and uh, grab it by the air, grab it by the barrel, and flip it over to the uh, merchant. You do that, and she kind of like almost instinctually kind of what's the term? Because I'm trying to remember where you push the uh, fucking revolver piece out. My brain's being dumb. She just pops, yeah. she jumps up. She the cylinder, ejects the, the cylinder. cylinder. Ejects yeah, the thank you. She basically so she ejects, ejects the cylinder. Clears the right, she clears the gun. Yeah, basically. Yeah, thank you. Thank it. you. <laughs> this is when a non gun person tries to make it. <laughs> yeah, there are, there are two heavy gun people in this call right now. <laughs> Ready? Um, so she clears the gun out. God, I want to go shooting with Mogul. <laughs> oh, Mo yeah, yeah. Oh god, Mogul me and my best man going shooting. Uh, we're all going shooting. 
I'm got, I'm trying to look at the revolver what is that? Okay. Wow. Six shots goes bang. No. Thank you. I was looking stat wise. Well, this is a little bit better. And it apparent and sometimes. And you see as she kind of grabs it, you see what looks like a uh, revolver with like a what looks like a little light bulb kind of attached towards the back portion near the hammer. Like not exactly on it but a little bit to the side. And occasionally it'll just give a little talk for non lethal, just in case. So basically to explain what this is, this is a regular revolver. It basically um it does instead of the one D eight it will do two D eight plus all the modifiers for the regular revolver you can use. But it also as a bonus action can either or bleh, not either can basically shoot out a stunning round that can basically be used for non lethal if you wanna or be quiet. Basically just stun someone for like a round. There's a DC attached to it that I have to make up, but I have an idea for it, so. Alright, sounds good. And there's probably, and since there's only a light bulb, it's a, a woods per, I'm, I'll probably have to either stop long rest or day, but probably long rest. This is only like one time use. So yeah. It's basically a little bit of an upgrade in damage because it gets an extra sight and it's got a stunning component to it. Alright, so per damage I get an extra 1d8. Mm -hmm. And then I will write up the rest of it later. Plus a stun. Plus a DC of a stun. Um, I'd probably say most stuns would probably be 14. Um... What other what other type of stalls are around? Uh, it's or a like black market, market so yeah. kind of take your choice. Yeah, there. All right, I, there's probably people selling slaves. There are probably people selling people. There's probably gotcha, a gotcha, 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 gotcha. there's probably a strip club if you're that way inclined. I don't know. Hell yeah. No. Um, I'm taking fangs. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? Um, all right. Um, so, well, they're buying guns. What would Diana and Fangs be doing, I guess? What? Well, hold on. Oh, sure, sure. Um, Wait, what did also, I just do? Also, Deli, um, she'll look at you. Okay, good. Uh, how much? <laughs> I need to think off the top of my head. Hold on. Give me a minute to do some math. Cause... Well, while you're mathing, um, that 19, um, Diana's gonna take her hands out of her pockets. Oh, no. And she's going Money. to, <laughs> she's going to actually hold Fangs' hands instead. Oh, like she Stop is, <laughs> her pockets are not gonna keep her from stealing, so she's just gonna. <laughs> All right, hold so on. <laughs> that, that will probably run you. Electric. All right, I guess that will prevent Fangs from wandering because he got bored. That'll be about. I need a leash. Gold. <laughs> Six to what gold? Six hundred. <laughs> Fuck. You can afford that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not happy about it. <laughs> You're getting a really good gun, Demon. <laughs> like, it also still has that DMA component. Just don't roll one. Don't count one on the gun. Uh, I mean, to be honest. Play the fuck? Murder, if you're looking at my sheet, that's still how much money I have. Yeah, I did. I just gave it a quick look, but... Yeah. You're fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, yeah. No, I was not upset about the money I was spending. But Deli's a bitch. I went right back into his family saying, Is there anything else? As she, before she starts grabbing, like, the uh, giant... Roll a giant uh, tube that she had was carrying. And starts, We're, uh... And I will not uh, let you know that I will not pay for this information. Where you learn how to make these creations? The tube with the gun. The cylinder plus the, the tube. Because making them both in 
And inconsequential plus the gear ratio is quite the feat. Plus, doing the math, if I do my math correctly, is 137 per rotation per bullet. But if you do fuck that up, you will blow the fingers off most of your, uh, and, uh, not employees, but, uh, investors. Which are the ones who do create you the most money per profit, right? Oh. Uh, he will, uh, flip his beard over his shoulder and reveal the, uh, the cloud catcher symbol on, on his, uh, spell book. So are you, just so I'm aware, are you trying to intimidate her? Not in intimidate, but definitely persuade this dumbass to realize who Deli is. Alright, roll me, I guess... Um, actually, hold on, I have some... I think it'd be better just for me to roll then. Well, actually, she'd probably know offhandedly, but... Thank you, as she kind of, like, tries to... I guess she's not trying to push the beard down, but slowly kind of still rolling up the, like, small pallet that had basically all the weapons on it. I'll keep that in mind. Do I have to get in my No, you can. Give me a minute. And she's looking at you. Sorry. Can I help you? I was Got looking through the French gun on 870. <laughs> Seventy. You know you can do better with a four ten. Oh my god. <laughs> Is this two gun nuts arguing while the DM's confused? <laughs> In the background like, thing just asking some damn questions. I just like the background conversation. Yeah. <laughs> it's a um So above table Moogle, what are you looking for? Just so a I twelve know. gauge shotgun. Pump oh! shotgun. No, no, Moogle, don't lie. You're going for a double lot. Oh, God. Um, yeah, I'm going for a 12 gauge with buckshot. Why would I fuck up? Oh, my God. Because, you know, a double lot buckshot is just better. Let me roll if she has any fucking shotguns. I mean, unless, she's got, unless she's got steel flechettes, and then fuck that. Woo! I don't. That's a nail shotgun version. <laughs> Um, sadly, I do not have any shotguns, at least in the order that I had, unless you want one custom made. Yeah. What you got? I mean, unless you have a judge. A a four ten? Oh my god, people, stop saying cunt thanks to the person. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, no, <laughs> no. Especially she said raging no. judge, the 20 cal, or the 20, 20 gauge version. Oh, Jesus uh, Christ. A four, <laughs> is, oh my is god. Bad. The biggest judge you can get is a 410, so let me tell no. what God can give you. You can get a raging judge with, say, 20, which is oh. a 20. <laughs> Why do you... Why am I <laughs> getting torture? Okay, hey, but, Meredith, Meredith, think about it. It is the Nevada guy and the Colorado guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say, Google, as you're kind of looking through, you don't see anything that would really... Or, yeah, um, just as you're looking through, you don't see anything really that would suit your fancy. Uh, you could maybe get a commission, or you could maybe wait like a little bit for something else to come speak to you. Who knows? But at least for what you're looking for, there's probably not like a. I love how my mind immediately went to a fucking street sweeper, and I was like, God, no, yeah. I don't want to get. Yeah, no, 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 no. French gun is like if you ever played in the World War One games or World War Two. That's the basic no, shotgun. No, I, I know, no, I know French what a trench gun is. I know that, but I, I was yeah. thinking more like a street no, sweeper or something. Like that. That's stop. That is street sweeper plus Stop. Fire damage. Uh, yeah. 
But like currently, out of what she has, not really. Mostly, like I said, they're mostly just um, hunting rifles by the looks of it, like long hunting rifles and revolvers at least. Okay. Um. But if you make that, you do realize that the thirty thirty is the same caliber as a zero. Oh, shot, shot bug shot, right? Stop. Tell me, do you like ammo as well while you're here? Yeah, yeah, I would. How much you want? I'll give you a price. I want at least twelve. Twelve I'm gonna probably be like a gold bullet. Probably All right. charge it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put you back up to the uh, back up to forty shots with my revolver. Do you remember any of the fire or ice ammo that I sold you? <laughs> yeah. I see it on your sheet. Yeah. Okay. Just make it your yard. I got, uh... I got, uh, eight more ice shots and ten more fire shots. Okay. Just make sure you're tracking it. Well, then, in I that know. case... I'll just take a back them. Now... Uh, what, uh, let, uh, with, uh, Deli C, what Magnum they try to sell? Justice? God? Sorry, God is still processing. Give him a minute. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happens when you have two gun people. Be a you, you all basically mash the uh, god's brain into mashed potatoes. Pretty much. We're here, and we will contradict you. <laughs> Either way. Um, sorry, what were you looking for one more time while my brain is resetting? A magnum revolver, so either a three fifty seven or a uh, they'd probably there They'd probably be like... 500. Some... You're not getting a 500 right oh. now, I'm telling you that. <laughs> I refuse. I don't want someone to be just red paste where their face was. <laughs> you already are, what are you talking about? I do that with my fists. I don't want them to literally have a hole in their face, and there be a giant bigger hole back on the other side with their brains scattered across the wall. Well, I'm gonna uh, start punching through people's heads, you know that. The 450 judge. <laughs> um, probably... It'd be more like, especially even though it is a black market, and they don't want to. What's up? Believe me, the 450 judge. Sure. Go with that, I guess. So if you Just aim at the mouth, on. the nose and the eyes are also gone. Jesus Christ. The 450 judge. I am so confused, okay. but okay. Every gun we've actually listed removes somebody's head. Okay. Yes. Even the 357 removes the head. 357 removes the mouth, jaw. 450 just removes anything above the jaw. All right. 44 mouth removes. removes we'll go. We'll just rest. go with like because they wanted to keep a lot of their business here on the down low. They'll probably push 357 a lot more. Even yeah. though a lot of people would know. I think it's just easier since 357s would be easier to make. If that they're probably... creating bullets, 357 is the highest. Then yeah. So Plus probably a, a few single three. shot silencer. Because silencers do not last that long. You can't put a silencer in a revolver anyway. You can. Certainly you can. It doesn't work that well. But you yeah, can. can. Anyway. You can put it in a pillow, it's more effective that way. It is- No. No. <laughs> no. blow no, the pillow it's a revolver, no. <laughs> no, anyway. the reason is, is because the cylinder gap between it and the barrel, so you have report from that, or you have the barrel. They even go into the barrel. Just I hate how efficient me and Moogle are. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I'm never introducing guys This is again. why you guys are all coming to my wedding. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, so... The best you can see, at least of Magmums, is probably 357. Alright. The Saruka of Colt, or, uh... Oh my fucking god. So, Just right. fucking buy a gun! So, 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 uh, so <laughs> Jay, we'll put a hand on, on Justice's hand. Jay, do you want to put a hole through someone? Through the building behind someone? 
or to the building behind, behind that someone. Yes, but she doesn't have anything above Lord Cal. No, no. Take the, take the 350. I'll pay for the extra. 350 will be, put a hole between the person behind, behind that someone. Yeah, that doesn't work. Alright, so, fine, what did it do? I'm going to pay. Whatever you need me to pay. No, I'm trying to remember. He paid 800 for his revolver. Oh, God, no. Six. 600. So, probably for like a cheaper one that doesn't really have all the fun bells and whistles. Probably about like 300. Just half it. Uh, the. One city. Find them? Yeah. I got it. What's the stat on this? Um, so if it's going off, it'd be the same one that just Deli's normal one was. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. I'll, I can pull it up too if you need to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's one. No. I think D10. it's only one. No, your regular one's D6. Turn no, no, hold on. Revolver's D8 plus. D8 yeah, the plus the revolver deck. we had was this D8. That's yeah. my bite attack that you just opened. Oh, that's a revolver. Never mind. No. <laughs> I, I'm looking. Uh, D8 range is 100, 400. What's the D8? That was the Meyer special, was the D8. Oh, that's the one I was basing it off of. Because the one he got, he got, is a 2D8 now. Yeah. See? Wow. Actually rolled really well for that. So, so is minor two D eight or what's up? Is minor two D eight or uh, mm. sure. <laughs> I had to think for a minute because something. I won't say what, but <clears throat> so yeah, just uh two D eight, um the hundred, four hundred, so I'm all the stats that Delhi has. His also yep. fuck, I, f I forgot his had a silencer on it that never got used. <laughs> <laughs> I could have popped it, someone. It really never came into uh, <laughs> issue. For real. This is really fucking Fang started all of our combats. I think the Fang started doing that. Even though I told him, like, hey, all right. give me a second. And he's like, no, fuck you, Mr. Dwarf bitch. We've lost two of them, Deli. Oh, <laughs> Too right. much. Deli, you turn around, Fang the Dieter are gone. Please God! <laughs> 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 Alright, Dad and Fang, what are you guys doing? You okay. let go of my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Fang was asking questions and then he sees a vantage point. He's like, I go look for the possible dangers. He climbs up. Alright, roll me a perception, I guess. Aye. <laughs> Thirteen. Can't really make out much outside of, like, so this shop, there's a lot of people that would come in and out. Um, actually, what's your passive? It is 16. But you do notice, even though from this vantage point, you're kind of looking down and not seeing much. You do see kind of coming from, like, looking around. You see what looks like a very regal and, like, decked out kind of looking skyship. Fangs wouldn't know exactly what it was, but it looks to be, like, comparison, it just, like, looks like a boat with some kind of windmills and stuff, or, uh, rotor blades basically attached to it, and a few different kind of, like, very light sails. I don't think Fangs has ever seen a boat either, so I feel like the thing's moot on him. <laughs> but yeah, that's what you see as you're kind of in the position. Tan, what are you doing? Um, I was hiding so I can look for something to steal. <laughs> oh boy. Give me a minute. Okay. Give me a minute because I have to find a token. Oh, oh. god. <laughs> I'm gonna get put in jail. Sorry, buddy. No, if, anyth if anything... I almost hopped in your backpack, so I should have done that. Okay, we'll use this one. 
It was me being dumb. What Do is right that? Now. Uh oh. 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 Hi, buddy. <laughs> Hello, I am friend. <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> So Dan, as you're kind of looking around for something to steal, you see this um rather shadowy individual kind of gets in a cloak. They, from what you can tell, they look like more of a ghostly apparition, and their form seems to be like these tattered cloth that seem to be kind of floating to and fro. What do you do? Um, and he's like, he saw me, he found me, he's looking he at me. He is looking at you. Um, I'm gonna put my uh hands up oh, and no. be like Mind glow too <laughs> <laughs> Training <laughs> Oh god, hold on. As he kinda looks at them He looks at you and then nods and then he kind of opens up like a small portion of this tent and kind of invites you to go inside. You know the pose that Diane is doing, like the finger guns? Yeah. That's what she does, and she's gonna walk in the tent. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Blip. Right. I'm assuming it's this tent. Yeah. Blip. I'm in All the right. tent. Give me a minute, I have to think. Now <laughs> <laughs> You can switch back to them if you have to if you need a minute. Alright. I Fucking fangs. I guess we'll go back to you after seeing the airship basically landing. Fangs just got... something. Yeah, how far is it? Um, it's landing from what you can tell, because you've been at least in this town decently enough, towards the, um... The... Blah, 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 words. Towards the center of town. More towards, like, the courthouse area. Might as well make his way back. Delhi, Justice. There is a weird, shiny, flying object in the sky that landed by the courthouse. Was it a dragon? No. Did it look like a ship? Yes. <laughs> There's like a pause, a hesitation, and then a slow yes. Yes, it's not like I tell you. Big was it? Mm -hmm. I do not know. It was big. The fact oh, that great. I was in pain. Yeah. There we go. I was not really paying attention to it, and yet I could not help but be drawn to look at it. If that makes sense. Yeah, he likes it to be gaudy. From what I heard, never seen it myself. Right, I lost track of Diana. She was holding my hand, but then I never got bored. Never seen what? <sighs> you think that you know, like she just kind of turns, looks like, What's the expression on her face when she died? She just sold a gun to a blind woman. Eh. Just looks at you. It's like, been there, I done that. <laughs> yeah. She's like, as long as they're willing to pay, she doesn't really care. So do we well, avoid place or... I, mean, I guess if she knew who I was, she might actually leave. Yeah. Anyway, we should probably figure out where Diana gets off to before she <clears throat> steal. So Diana, you're in this tent. Um... Hold on, let me get something. Has nobody checked Fang's backpack yet? <laughs> Fang's looks. Let's go with this. No. Yeah, let me punch it a few times. <laughs> you will damage my bone collection in there. You'll probably make it into dust at that point. <laughs> That's why Fang said you'll damage my bone collection. My trophies. Pulverizes it. <sighs> Alright, so Diana, you go into this tent and it feels weird. 
It's very low lit. There's not much. There's kind of like this, um, just also dumb vibe with theory of the mining is because I couldn't find a map and this literally happened in three seconds. So. No, that's anyway. fine. So you see like this low lit tent. There's incense burners kind of lying low and there's like this kind of haze to it. And this individual invited you in and just is now kind of staring. And you see on the table there are two small orbs there's one that's kind of this very bright yellow gleaming almost and then there's this very dull kind of like smoke opal like dark black one and he's kind of this individual is looking at you and just simply saying light of darkness choose which are are you a fortune teller there's no responses this very again tattered individual is just kind of watching your movement and just simply repeats again i know darkness choose which do i have to choose right this second is there a prize uh, yeah <laughs> Hold on. Give me okay. one sec, because I'm trying to think. Choice always has to be made. It doesn't matter if the consequences or if one can live up to it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you grab him. <laughs> I like the colors of this one better. But she's gonna go for the purple one. <laughs> All right, so you grab the smoke opal and you watch as you grab it and you hear him say, my choice has been made. Excellent. And you watch the very... the kill my ass. That's the yellow glowing one. Just kind of fades from the table good luck on future endeavors and as that happens it's almost like you're shunted out and you kind of like are back where you started outside of the tent and that tent isn't there anymore um, do i just have this orb or did it turn into anything or do i you have just, anything you have a for now a smoke opal and that's it. Oh. I'll put it in my bag. Um. Hmm. I will make my way back out onto the street. So, I'll, as the rest of you are doing that, you see Diana just kind of casually strolling back from the black market. Just casually doing a casual jaunt. <laughs> Did you find anything interesting, Diana? I got my future read. Or, well, not my future. I think I got my fortune told by a fortune teller. What is this about fortune telling? They told me uh, to choose a path. And then I didn't know what they meant. But then they showed me two orbs and I picked one. No, I am curious. What is this fortune telling why would someone tell you what your future is i'm pretty sure you just sold yourself i i don't feel like i did what did i do thanks shrugs <laughs> everybody just shrugs <laughs> i fucking do oh, i currently own a bucket Looks at Alicia. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, no, now, now, who questions bad? He's puking his, in his barrel. <laughs> Understandable. I, uh, um, I would never. In the street over there. That's an artist's tool. Um, I will say, because it was out of pure 
innocence and because I rolled a two, I rolled very low, <laughs> I'm actually going to show the group the smoke opal. He gave me this as a gift. I liked the colors. May I touch it? Yeah. Which is what is it? With one finger, <laughs> Fangs just pokes the uh, the smoky opal. opal. Uh, so you try to touch it. All right. See how this is gonna roll real quick. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. We love shopping. <laughs> Fags, you go to touch it. Uh... Oh, God. I forgot there's something else. So you go to touch it, and it feels like it's repulsing you, almost. Like, it feels like disgusting, kind of that feeling of almost decay or something to that ilk. And it just feels unnatural. How are you fine touching this, Diana? This thing gives me the, I believe, Justice and Deli would say the term of willies or bad vibes. I prefer the Delis. <laughs> um, I don't, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't feel like anything to me. Looks over the Justice. I will need to borrow your hand for a moment. <laughs> bad vibes. Bad vibes. Oh, dear God. Bad she vibes. Kind of out her hands. Yep. Bangs. Basically, uh, motion or uh, gestures the hand towards the opal. See how she reacts to it. Guess I'll touch it. <laughs> That's funny, actually. So, <laughs> just as you touch it, it feels, again, kind of similar to what Fangs did. Just something of rot, decay. Just It feels repulsive. More so than abrasive. Like you don't want to hold on to this shit at all. Like it's just not great. Just a second. <laughs> Because no, justice. justice is being dumb and doesn't trust a damn thing that she does. Uh, let's see. We're gonna pump some positive energy into that fucker. Oh, no, no, no. Uh oh. <laughs> what? As you do that, you're gonna take this back. Necrotic. Wow. Uh. Would Fangs take so that just, too because he's in close proximity? No. So, Justice, you feel your key going into this to like generate like a pulse to maybe help, and it's almost like it pulses back, but the third it pushes backwards out of the stone is enough that it actually kind of disrupts the flow, and if anything, kind of hurts. Kind of like t putting your hand in like a electric socket and feeling like a zap when you're trying to fix something. Right, time to eat that fucker as far away as we can. Dan, you want them to eat your stone that you just got? Did something happen? Well, I'm pretty sure I just burned myself or worse. Yep, that worse. That's that's uh, that's necrotic energy. Are you fine, Diana? How am I fine? I'm asking if you are fine still. Oh. Because the uh, justice such as burnt us. I wonder if we could use that on the the Ustin person. Maybe. 
but besides that fact, I still think that anything like that that Diana is holding, we should probably just throw as far away from Diana as possible. I want to keep it. I want it in my in my fortune. I am most concerned about this fortune that requires or has that weird feeling rock in it. Also, do her hands feel weird? Definitely, like, kind of like a numbness, almost. Why do your hands feel weird, anyway? I meant Diana's hands. Do they feel weird? Uh, uh, um, oh. um, probably like a weird, uh... Definitely like a energy close to the corruption that you felt before, because you sense that shit. Yeah, it was on my ears. Nah. It was... Like a hearing aid. Um, BRB, I'll be back. Okay. Alright, I guess we'll just take like a five then, real quick. What happened to uh, Deli, Jeebus? He's probably growing up. I'm assuming he drank a little too much, so. Ah, huh. That's what I kind of figured. I kind of picked something like that. So we'll just take a minute. Roger that. Uh. <laughs> Sorry for trying to break the DM. Nah, it's fine. I didn't try to apply. I almost didn't. Or I almost applied for a job at a gun store. But then I had a stroke. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. That's it. I... Today's been a weird one. He's... This session just kind of like uh, burning my wheels <laughs> or spinning my wheels, just introducing some other plot stuff. Well, I mean, we got yeah. a fortune telling opal. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Nah. There's a reason why. Uh, if only I may, thank. Uh. I may not now tie some of Diana's stuff into the choice that she made for some, I'll say, upgrades and leave it at that. I mean, if only Fangs hadn't decided to go wander off. That's fine, I rolled for it anyway, so. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's the Smith & Wesson. It's based on the Model 10. <laughs> if you saw the conversation between uh, Fangs and Diane, and Diana, <laughs> even goes like, "What are these things they're getting? <laughs> are we putting holes into the wolf woman in the house? Are we killing the house too?" Justice is still trying to figure about this whole like, not realizing Deli's been staring at her while he's been saying she's flat, not her type, or his type. <laughs> yeah, Fang just kind of nods like, "I believe Deli is speaking with the eyes, and he looks everywhere but Justice's face when in conversation." <laughs> I guess we'll see how far we'll get tonight. I at least want to get home. Yeah, there's some stuff at your home that I want to give you. Just don't forget your key. Unless that was the early deposit. <laughs> I feel like Justice either has her key on her or she left it at a very specific place that she would know where to find it. You'll, you'll understand. Don't worry. Though I guess um, the Professor Orb is currently absorbing information from the book. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, so. Since he was basically meant to record it all. Since she deleted uh, fucking the tofu. And before there's actually tofu in the book. So it... For all we know, that might have been the last actual original tofu recipe, and everything else and now is just a plant. I wouldn't be. It would be funny, but nah. <laughs> hey, is Juba still streaming? Uh. Let me check. I believe he still was when I last checked. 
You shouldn't be right now. No. No. Well, I closed it. Is Ibis okay? Uh, nope. I'm gonna put him to bed. I'll be right back. Understood. Yep, no worries. Well, we're down a dummy. <laughs> we're down half a party. <laughs> yeah, Sam's having a, uh, computer issue because their Discord won't open, so. Not a problem. Recording everything, so. I didn't see the notes for some reason on your character sheet. Oh, because I already put them on the Fang's notes sheet thing, or Miser oh, notes. Fine. The Miser notes. notes. Yes. Oh. I'm a dumbass. You remember, you gave me a handout to write the note yeah, to put I the know. notes in. <laughs> yeah. I so. sometimes look for it just to make sure I don't run the input in. Yeah, no worries. Um, Cause sometimes I would be very lazy and I don't transfer the notes right away to the handout. But uh, that Sunday after we did the auction, I immediately transferred all the notes from. Uh, I love how you called Houston, Houston, Houston. That's damn good, Liza. That's Fangs. Fine. All right. But uh. Oh, hello, Sam. Hello. Our wizard has gotten drunk. And, um, would you like to do some shopping? Oh, fuck. No, I know we can do over stalling for time. <laughs> Sam, you've been... Uh -huh. Oh, shit, I need... I didn't think I'd get... The... I didn't think... <laughs> or Alicia, give me a minute. I gotta find the funny clockwork map. Let me go back to. I need some. Let's go with this. Alright, let's. Get some smooth jazz. As you're kind of getting really, well, enamored into a book, you kind of, your mind starts to slowly slip away from you, and you end up in, like, what looks like a small kind of bar. It's cushy. There's this soft music going. It seems like there's, like, small, hold on. Do I have their tokens made? I think I did. No, I don't. I'm going to be sad. No, I didn't. Fuck! Uh-oh. You see small little plant-like beings kind of walking to and fro, handing out what look like um, drinks and everything. And it's just a overall weirdly comfy place as you're kind of just reading through the book. Um, you would be right there. I need
sorry, I'm trying to do like three things. <laughs> no problem, buddy. Also, I like that little uh, Kyle icon that Sam has for their profile. Technically, it was mine. So, I I'll explain it, like, above um, Oscar Gay what it is, what's it all about. No worries. I just noticed now because I'm looking at the Discord. Yeah, no worries. Kind of looking around, just again, like there's this in the back corner, you see this kind of small elven girl with a dress and these kind of bandages wrapped around her arms, kind of going against the grain of the move of the room. That's kind of the only one that's really sitting out. The rest seem to be again these like small little plant beings that make as they walk, they kind of make like weird. Uh, footstep sounds between each step. So what are you doing? Uh -huh. I approach the piano. Okay. And a lowercase a key. <laughs> Do you just like hit it and then hold it so like the beat just or so the uh yeah so it just, just sounds out. Uh, fly as you watch as this like elven woman who's just or elven child sorry that was sitting and just kind of looks over at you. Trying to get someone's attention? Yes. Just trying to test out the mood in the room, you could say. There's not really anyone here outside of these little beings that she sees. She kind of just picks one up. And it's almost like as she picks one up, it doesn't react. They're more robotic in nature almost. And it's like it's still kind of walking. And then she just kind of puts it down. Sorry, dude. Do you have any idea where this is? I really don't. I have no idea where it is. As I hit the C minor key. Why? Why what? It's not gonna do anything. Seems like we're the only two people here. If anything, it's just annoying. You're gonna hit another fucking key. <laughs> D major. Kind of walks up to you, and as you've noticed, she's walking. It's kind of not so much with a limp, but very like slowly. And she kind of like after you hit the slow one, like very gently, kind of moves your hand off the key. Stop. I move my hands behind me. And say, okay. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm weird. I haven't talked to many people much. There are a few people, but they keep talking about different other things, so I don't get to interact with many people. Occasionally Elisha, but can I do a history? Sure. What are you trying to glean? Oh, right. What? 
What are you trying to glaive or get from it? Like, like, what are you looking for exactly? And I can tell you a better roll, rather. <laughs> Where I'm at. <sighs> if anything's familiar. I don't know. Fuck, <clears throat> actually, there's one instant. Um, roll me a history at disadvantage. History at disadvantage? That's not really fair. Put me at a disadvantage. Well, you, it seems like this, it's foggy, but you don't really recall, and then you kind of look around, and you see, like, signs marking, but every time you kind of read the sign, it seems like there's something on them that won't let you, like, process the words. Like, it's kind of, like, almost charmed in a way. I see. There is only one logical solution to it. What's that? I cannot read. I will read, but covered. Excuse me, what? <laughs> I put my helm of comprehend languages on. How does that work? Give me a minute. I want to. Is it for talking or specifically reading? reading uh you any underwritten language uh you have to touch it so i'm assuming you're gonna touch this sign yeah um cannot decode secret messages in a text or glyph such as an arcade sigil that is oh so it has to be part of a written language well darn so you try to read it and still just gibberish Let's see. Also, yeah. I mean, we could always just sit here and talk and be. Wait till something happens. <laughs> it's nicer here than where I'm from. As you can, again, you can kind of see, like, she's bandaged up. I, even though I didn't get most of the token, her legs are kind of bandaged up too, and you see this, like, nice, long, flowing dress. Or at least pieces of a dress. A lot of it's like to tatters, especially towards the bottom, or like very filthy, and just like rips at certain spots. I guess doe-eyed is probably because again she seems very interested because from you can tell she doesn't look all that great at having someone talk to that isn't we'll say words right now and she just seems at least amicable Uh, 
done with that then? Yeah. So do you have a name then, or...? I am Alicia. And I have no idea where I am. Oh, that makes you feel alive. Um, also, as you hit the last um, note in that scale, or rather in that sequence, you feel for a minute yourself kind of slipping back into a trance and on you're back in a very shit smelling place and I'm pretty sure justice is kind of like just shaking you as you're kind of deep in trance in a book again so justice if you would oh I, I, I was supposed to be shaking them okay I'd imagine you would Oh, actually, yeah, actually, at this point, we're just kind of just, just, just kind of like whatever. Okay, I never advised. <laughs> you still have to probably, probably talking about eating things. Eventually, we're like, okay, okay, Alicia, what do you think? Mm. Yeah, there we go. Alicia. Yeah. First of all, are we going to be able to trade this book, or do we just need to not even think about that? Second of all, hello. <laughs> hello. Third of all, that thing. Okay. Points at the rock and <laughs> in his hand. You see a very uh, purple opal, smoke opal in Diana's hand. Never seen it before in your life. Never seen that, but my assumption is that's a bomb. See? <laughs> I told you we should eat it, Spangs. Spangs is BRB. God damn it. It's one of those days today, Moogle, trust me. It's like <laughs> a revolving door. <laughs> does Fang, does uh, Fangs have a piano? Because if they do and they play that, they're going to be very disappointed. <clears throat> Just if, you know, your home has a piano. Technically, your mom would play it all the time. I mean, I have a piano in my house, but what? What? <laughs> well, it seems I'm done scanning the book, though translating it and transcribing most of it may take a little bit longer. If you wish to, please go forward. As you see the small Professor Warp I'm not going to put out, kind of like this in the book. I would imagine we would want to proceed forward with the transaction Miss Wum Daughter or Father have done. Uh, I just I have... came back. Sorry, I do apologize. Did I miss anything in particular on the... Not really. Uh, well, uh, Alicia Sam said that's a bomb. Alicia said that's a bomb. And I adjust his turn and said we should eat it. <laughs> Wait, what does a bomb... Or what did you refer to as a bomb? It was a thing in Diana's hand. Looks at Diana, looks at the gem. Looks at Diana and, again. And, um, you remember that time you set fire to that barrel? You nearly died. You mean that crate with the moonshine that was corrupted? Yeah, so that's kind of like a bomb. does smell very rotty. I would suggest we also make post haste. But I have a gun. Perhaps Diana could put that gem into the okay. boost in person and harm them. I, I, I would not recommend it if she is that powerful people are saying she is. I have an idea. Well, and, I support, and I support it wholeheartedly because I, it would be against my programming to not. Well. Pull out my clock. Okay. <laughs> Let's insert it into this and see what happens. 
because we did so with the uh, funny crystals. <laughs> Leave it up to you guys. I look over to Diana. And you're um, last. This is my house. I mean, how much damage she has. Totally different. So are we trying to. Are we trying to put the. the My rock in. The like clock. Somewhere? Yeah. Roxy wants clock. to put. put well, Alicia wants to put the smoke opal inside the clock. And see, see what happens. Um. The choice is yours, Diana. The guy did say it was my destiny and my fortune, so I don't, I don't want to give it away. Perhaps the clock will reverse destiny, maybe. But what if I don't want it reversed? What if it's something really good? It's also speeding up. Uh, it is I also. I don't even know, considering that clock looks. It is also the fact that, to me and Justice, the gem has a strange rotting feeling to it that may bode unwell things for all of us, or for you, maybe. Oh. I am worried if the future that you were presented with was not but a lie from this individual that wanted you or wish you harm. Leave it up to you. Oh, she'll look at the orb and then look at Fangs. If if you if you say it's bad, then it just it must feels be. it feels bad, but. Perhaps it is also a destiny that ones like myself and Justice are not allowed or privy to. Um, I... I'll hand the orb over to Ellie. Alright, Ellie, you put it in the clock? I put it in the clock. Alright, Dan, roll me either roll me a D4. Okay. I gotta roll Hey, right. what? <laughs> uh, okay. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have another character seat. No, this is going to be great. So, you put it in. This is what I get for trying to make a funny reference and then going to shit immediately. And you feel... Oh, what crap. You feel a coldness kind of also to say I've just pointed it out to, to make sense of what's going to happen because Sam might get this joke uh, Diana was asked earlier to choose a difference between light and darkness of two different choices of a rock and so you'll kind of appreciate this as you feel this kind of coldness Diana where your claws were in your hand are two very small kind of like icicle based like, they look rather confusing at first, and you see these, um, kind of, like, icicles forming in your hands. They look like small rapiers, and then kind of, kind of, like, the, it gets chopped off, like it was trying to model that, and then kind of become, like, two smaller, like, sickles, almost. Oh my god. Thank you. Uh, so, yeah. Does now, everybody have... else see that? You have two icicles. Yeah, everyone else sees two icicles in your hand. Um... What does that mean? Uh, I think we should leave before somebody hands us a mixtape and expects us to pay for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, give you, I'll give you the stats on those later because I got to make a speak for them because I didn't expect that, but yeah. I suspect yeah. Oh, we I also leave. need the stuff to roll for if I use my claws. Uh, yeah, I'll get that. Uh -huh. Actually, but yeah. No, because I have those set as something else completely different. Oh, okay. Kind of, I will. 
it's kind of like the one thing in the little campaign where I have a reason why I'm not giving it to you right away. Gotcha. Oh. No Alright, so now you have two icicles. They are a two-handed weapon. They also have the throne property. Hmm. And like I said, I'll slowly make a sheet for those. Okay, yeah. cool. Well, I'm gonna say silent. Cool. I so suppose I'm gonna say. That is your destiny. Is ice? I do not know. You know, your future is a pun. That would make sense. I hate that I laughed at that because that's a really bad joke. This is really not funny. <laughs> Things kind of just goes, there are different meanings to those of the seasons. Let's go draw things on Mala's face while we get to my house. <laughs> Why are we drawing on Mala's face? First one to pass out. I'm pretty sure I got a concussion. I mean, you know, anything <laughs> else that I'm Okay, so Deli also a little bit inebriated. Scruffy starts dragging his ass. <laughs> Thanks, I'll drag. Okay. So we now have two unconscious people. So. Uh, let me change Are we to stack these two on top of each other then, if Mala and Deli are both unconscious? If I'm understanding right. densities, Deli has to go on to the bottom. Alright, so... But would it not help out. Mala's physical... I believe they call it physical bit. gains to continue lifting heavy As things and putting them down. Sorry. As you guys are riding out, you see a, um... You don't see much. Again, the town's kind of shit. And a lot of, like I said, there's a small crowd kind of gathering towards the center of town. It's up to you if you want to stop there before heading out to Bluewood or not. I'll get... Nope. Watch <sighs> just doesn't want to. Okay. Thanks, we'll follow it. Justice Lee on that. Then, I'm imagining Justice is driving the cart, so I'll let her kind of... Well, actually, no, that'd be a horrible idea. Someone yeah. else is gonna drive the cart! <laughs> Fangs, will, Fangs will help. Probably, pro you'll probably get you'll probably get aid from uh, Diana and Alicia, possibly. Okay. Oh, hell no, I'm drawing stuff on Mala and Deli's faces. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. I'll write that down. You guys are heading out. Um, Justice will... Since you know the way, I'm not gonna make you really roll because it's not too far away and as you kind of approach the wood instead of like a guard stationed outside you see like what looks like a uh, an identification reader and uh, or uh, what it would be close to as you kind of get closer to the gate kind of like i think the closest comparison to a modern day would be like an id badge but to this it's like you need either like a specific gem or something that would slot into a smaller edifice that's kind of uh, cut out. I imagine it just would at least have it just to come in and out if she ever would come here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you put that in, and as you're kind of traveling through, it's a very quiet midday to evening. <sighs> We're gonna just need her to mind this real quick. Um, sure. Sitting outside of your house is the capital of Texas. Boy, oh, that's Austin. <laughs> never mind. It's not Houston, never mind. Austin, who the fuck is this one? <laughs> <laughs> it's her brother. No, I'm just kidding. It's uh, Philadelphia. No, you, you don't want to see uh, fucking Boston, especially the Tea Party. Oh, that was a fun massacre. Uh-huh. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. As you see Houston, it's kind of sitting outside your house. What? Not Detroit. Because I don't want to be stereotypical, Moogle. That's me. <laughs> anyway. Bye. Hello, sweetie. Glad to see you around. Well, if Alicia's done with the book. Alicia, well, 
um, the professor orb said it was done transcribing it into itself, so it's up to you. Lacey, do you want to give the book to the nice lady? That can probably rip your guts out in three seconds flat if you're bored. Sam? Yeah? Would you like to give the nice lady the book? No, it was my answer, yeah. Oh, okay. So you kind of tossed it over, and she's like, All right. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna find myself here. You can do a little bit of relaxing. And don't worry, I'll stay out of your hands. And she kind of just opens the door <laughs> into your home. I'll leave that up to you on how you want to handle that justice. Fangs kind of leans over to Justice and asks, Why does she have access to your house when, if I remember correctly, you own the house and the raffle has a small piece of it? Justice, you definitely smell the uh, smell of burnt metal. Because she's a fiend? Well, no, devil. Do not understand the equivalency of that being the reason she can enter your house freely. Think about Astra, she was on a material plane. Then you just hear a low growl. <laughs> exactly. So she is invading. Justice, as you enter into the home, you hear a soft piano kind of playing, which is weird, or at least just unsettling, because usually there's a, it wasn't played as much, and you do know that your mother had taught some of the maid stuff as well, at least some very basic stuff, at least enough to keep company in the mood just in case. But for the most part, you don't see really any of your main staff. Um, Houston had probably gone out and about. And you do see the head maid, who's just kind of sitting playing the piano. Okay. She doesn't seem to be following the head measure. Oh. Sorry. Miss Wormdaughter, I didn't know you were coming home so early. She kind of straightens out her, um, tidy tidies up her uniform. Now oh, there is a rough individual. Would you like me to send her away? No. Just on her own. Do you want me to, Would you like me to cook anything then for you? And as she kind of looks up, she sees the others. Thank you very much. Yes? Friends. Good to see you. It's good to see you home then, Miss Wormdata. I don't know how long it'll be. Oh, and the third room on the right, I, I sold that one off. So there's a raccoon who might be coming into these things. She will... She had actually made her way here earlier. Oh. <laughs> you see, like, the, a few box as the rest of you kind of see a few boxes. She had mentioned something about it. Uh, hold on, I will show to players because none of you have met this lady yet outside of this. This is Hestia. I don't know her. Anyway, don't know where my brain was going. Um, well, I guess that dinner should be ready soon. Is there anything else you would need help with, Miss Wondata? Just call me Justice for once. My head is dribbled with just things. All right, Miss Justice. Like I said, I'll prepare. Is there anything in particular you would, particular you would like? Be 
you still make some meatloaf? I can have it made if you would like. Yeah, whatever is easier. And as she's walking, she kind of gives Fangs, Diana, and Alicia a uh, curtsy as she walks by. Excuse me, please. Fangs gives a slight nod. Good day. <laughs> All right. Sorry, I'm sorry I had to. <laughs> and a good day to you as well. What is this meatloaf that Justy spoke of? Is she, are you asking Hestia? Yes. <laughs> Ever had cow where you're from? No. Probably. Have you ever? Uh, best way to put it. I am from the ever... Grand Wild, as you all would call it. That. Um. How do I put this? Imagine if you had a more. I don't want to say refined because that would feel like that would be an insult to your culture. A more. Uh, I'll just make it because it'd be easier to explain. And as you walk in justice, you do notice that Hestia there left. Because she has some very, like, I'm going to say minimal magic. Because, like, it's appropriate, at least for Schlenk and Maid Staff, to have, like, some Maid Staff for, and, like, things like Unseen Servant and, like, Mage hand just to kind of help with smaller tasks. Mm hmm. And it's kind of just playing the piano as she's making her way to the kitchen. And Fangs kind of leans over to Diana and just makes a joke of perhaps it is good that Deli had become unconscious due to, I believe you call it inebriation. He may have started flirting with. The Swan Hestia, she called herself. He definitely would have, yes. I do not understand the attractiveness of those that are not similar to my own kind, so it is still new to me. Oh. Heart breaks a little bit. <laughs> Hestia's <laughs> married anyway. Oh shit, where'd my map? Oh, there it is. Um. Well, Faze is still innocent in that particular regard. No, I know. Justice, since you're reminiscing, roll me a deception. Deception? Perception. I heard reception, and I was going to ask many questions. She's an antenna, actually, now. <laughs> no. As you're walking, you feel something odd. Mostly through, like, something off. I guess key wise, like something's kind of inviting you. It's coming from upstairs. You can't really get a grasp from down here, but it definitely feels like something's off. Diana? Yes. You steal anything from my house, I'll murder you. Get the thing. <laughs> Fangs is backpack. <laughs> as, as she's doing that, Fangs simply adds, but what if it's not really owned by you or your property anymore? Oh it's my God. Otherwise, everything here belongs to me. So, the property, your territory that is not yours anymore is fair game. <laughs> There's like a deep person inside of just like, please. I need you both to follow me. Probably right. you two of you. I think the only ones who would actually see is uh, Alicia and uh, Diana. There's actually a bit of a uh, smirk on Fangs as he's trying to attempt the joke. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> I'll hop out of the backpack. <laughs> I will mention that, you know, you've seen Justice in various states. She looks exhausted finally would you need more time to rest before continuing you have that opportunity mm. do, 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 do. 
That stairs are hard. Alright, which way? Uh, your room, actually. Cut pipe, though. He's the one. Yes, I bitch. I'm still following. Yeah, yeah Raffle yeah. Raffle gets these lovely rooms. At least one or two of these nice rooms over here. I figured. <laughs> <laughs> he gave her like the shit, like the get fucked nerd room. <laughs> well, here goes nothing. What do I send? Um, um, there's some key coming from underneath your bed. So this will be considered your tent, then? Yes, don't touch anything. Anything? <laughs> anything. <laughs> Touches the wall. I don't know what else you might do. I have an idea. Oh so she's the box. Don't touch the box. Um, I don't have an idea. Can you describe the room a little bit? Here. Um, it's very... Actually, just as you can, since it's your room, I'll let you kind of flavor this better than me. It's somewhere between garish and extravagant in the weirdest ways. There's a lot of simplicity in how it's made. You know, things are very, like, the bed. The It's a four-poster, but the posts are round. Just, just no, no carving, nothing. But like there's a lot of textural things like the blankets are very textural there's a fur rug there's pillows with different textures there's a library you see a guitar in the corner under a sheet actually you probably see about three of them but <laughs> uh definitely very little light stuff like the window is about the only amount of light that's in this room um you know if there's any kind of light stuff it's probably has looks like it probably hasn't been turned on in a long time <laughs> it's probably like it's actually even though it doesn't look like it's been turned on it's definitely like clean and dusted because pestia oh, yeah. is like uh made or uh, made of her craft and definitely tries to keep this place tidy despite no one being here but you also notice like there's weird little things that have been left around um like on the floor like rugs that are in odd spots but you notice as justice walks through like she's using her feet to like figure out where she's headed all right let's see what's down here with the magazines that i never got to read and she'll reach under the bed I feel under the bed. What are these phone. magazines that she speaks of? As you kind of go through like a decent pile of magazines, you feel what feels like a small kind of safe almost. It's, it feels like a box at the very least, but it feels kind of like it's got some weight to it. What the fuck? I never left this under here. I went through my magazines. <laughs> Someone organized them. Perhaps it has not my size anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so do you pull it out or just let it in there? Yeah, she'll pull you, it out. You kind of pull it out and it feels like it's got a weighty heave to it, but it like kind of glides across the carpet generally well, but it's still kind of weighty. What kind of lock does it have or latch? It just has a keyhole. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> but as you get close, and I'm gonna roll with your perception, you do feel that the key is definitely coming from this safe. Oh boy, let's see here. I was going to leave a key for something. Uh, she reaches over under the nightstand 
and starts there. feeling around the lower edge. <laughs> there is nothing there. But you do feel as you're kind of your bracelet is kind of glowing. Okay, what do you got, Pi? Well, this thing is radiating key, so why not give it some? Well, mostly it was a keyhole, so I mean, my other option was Diana, but I don't trust her enough to use that, so. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? It could just blow up or something. Yeah, you're not wrong. Okay, you use the key, and almost immediately it kind of fills this keyhole, like a key kind of forms from that, and it pops open. And inside are two things. A note. I hate that I say this, but a revolver. <laughs> you would have waited like five instead of buying one. Because I'll show you what you got in a second. You'll fucking hate me. Investments. Investments. <laughs> I have two hands. I can use two guns. <laughs> anyway, I started blasting. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to show you. This is what as you kind of pull it up. And as you do, you feel the, the chamber or the cylinder kind of pop out. But instead of, as you're kind of loading the key into the lock, it overflows and fills where the bullet chambers was. And then immediately the chamber goes back in to the gun. And you got this. So congrats, this thing doesn't run off actual bullets it uses key blind retribution oh my god <laughs> there was somebody who went out of there after a custom piece fangs kind of sees nope. what's that what's there and just adds so we went through the strange black market and listened to dragon conversation with Justice <laughs> and Delhi with the redhead one and we had one here or firearm as you call it this is a key powered on my energy Isn't so I'm gonna point out something she kind of lifts or picks it up. Um, the note is in Braille, actually. And I have a twister. Yeah. She kind of starts reading that as she holsters this one. There you go. And I'll read it out, too. Ah, dear Justice, I'm glad we were able to work together for all this time. I'm glad I taught you. There is a time, though, where the student must leave their teacher behind and chase their own dreams. But if you do come back and find this note, I feel like this would be able to help with whatever you're doing. And it's signed, um, famous. It really did mean to go out Ricky Pariah. Martyr, whatever the fuck. And as you're saying that, you notice the chain on your wrist slowly start wrapping itself around the revolver itself. And just hey, kind of hey. become attached to that. Hey. What? It's not my doing. And you now notice the revolver is just kind of like all chained up. And I'll just leave it at that for right now. So if that chain is not your doings, then what's the fuck? How the hell would I know? Because it's your chain. I don't control everything it does. Oh, you do. Curious. Why does that chain seem to be very self-sentient? Wait. Go on. You didn't do one of those weird pack weapon bullshits with me, did you? No. Uh, I'm gonna need to do 
you want to trust her or not on that. Fuck it, I've known her long enough. Fair huh? Enough. From what you can tell. She seems to be telling the truth, at least from what you can tell. All I know is whatever this is, it seems like part of my being is at least attracted to it, so there's that. At least you don't have to worry about that shit on your wrist. Wait, it's completely left my wrist? Yeah, like, straight up, it just moved from your wrist onto the gun. Basically, kind of like towards the bottom end of the grip. Thus the chain was about you and me. Not about the other things. Maybe. Either way, I'm assuming you're hungry, you're tired, and that one over there keeps looking at herself in the mirror. Points at Diana, who's just probably, like, constantly, like, flipping her hat probably through 20 different things in the mirror. I'm assuming, anyway. I have a mirror in here? Yes. <laughs> How the fuck did that get in here? Wait, question, would Diana be, like, posing or just, like, constantly just flipping through different hats that she likes? What, no, about, what about Sam's character? She's also in the movie. I don't know. I don't know what Alicia would be doing. That wouldn't be being a general nuisance. <laughs> or menace. I know. What I am doing. Why? What are I you have, doing that? I have no thoughts head empty. I'm looking out the window. There is no window here. Oh, wait, yeah, no, I'm just looking. Second floor. <laughs> so, you look out the window, and you see, for lack of a very peaceful town, it reminds you a lot of Forwin in your kind of area, where a lot of the rich people would just live, just peaceful, the occasional people walking by, a way different departure from, like, Soldner and where you just were, just calm, people out kind of walking around, casually greeting each other. It's such a different dichotomy. And on that note, I think we'll end it there for now. Just mostly because there's some other things I want to get to, but... It's been a night tonight, so I've been... Transpace... I've been your DM, Transpace Mariner. You could also find me on Transpace Mariner on Twitch and DM Mariner on Twitter. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna do a one-shot next week or in two weeks or not I'm kind of up in the air now with how this session kind of went because I'd rather get towards the plot but we'll kind of play it by ear now at this point um yeah I guess I'll throw it over to Miser hello everyone I am Miser I play Fangs on Blades for here in One in the Chamber I am also the DM for Into the Wildlands on next Sunday which I might do something holiday special for uh St. Patty's Day, maybe. We'll think about it. You can find my content on Miser Mark on both Twitch and YouTube, respectively. And I will hand it over to Moogle, who is tomorrow's DM. Yep. See you sorrows again. See what the party does with the situation they find themselves in. They're kind of at a interesting crossroads. So, I'm Goth Moogle. I dropped off the social media because I couldn't stand it. I realize I do commission work, which I'm on hold, but still hit me up and I can let you know when I'll be back into it. Uh, as my health permits, so... I would throw it over to someone else, but I think we just have Sam. I don't have anything. I'd like to thank everyone. I do apologize for today's session kind of being by the year, by the year, just going where I can. It was interesting to say the least, but we did it, so it's all that matters. I got some plot points, and yeah, I guess we'll see you again in two weeks, either in a one shot or the next uh, next chapter to see how the party deals having a nice fun meatloaf with the uh, canary just sitting at their table. And Justice having a fun revolver. Bye. Yeah.
kasih. Adios.